Amicia, it is your fight. How is this not your fight right now? This, they're, these are his men. Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to A Plague Tale Requiem Part 8, where we enter into the chapter, A Sea of Promises. If you've been following the story so far, we left off where Amicia just barely escaped death with Hugo alongside Arnaud, who is a old knight that is effectively promised to help us get to where we need to be. All said and done, we also met up with a smuggler called Sophia, and all of us are trying to reach a uh, lacuna, the island that is apparently from uh, Hugo's dreams. Now, whether or not it's the actual island, how we know that's the island, I have no idea. Uh, but all said and done, I am absolutely ready to jump right into this. Uh, one thing I do want to say before we jump on in is I have a question for you. Do you trust Arnold or not? Because I sort of feel like when him and Sophia were speaking about us, he might have a bit of a sketchy past and if she's questioning whether or not he's gonna hurt Amicia that's kind of a red flag and of course as always if you haven't already like subscribe all that fun jazz let's dive on in <sighs> the sea's so quiet nothing but the horizon enjoy So, it survived the fire. Yes, it would take more than that. It survived Spain, Burgundy, Guienne. Well, barely that time. That's where it broke? Yes. Mm. The only time it failed to protect. You? No. Someone I shared my coat of arms with. Oh, I, I see. It's a... Sad memory to keep them. Some memories don't want to be let go of, child. I think Understandable. I hey, you two! The sail's pulling port side. I need a hand. Go pull the rope on the other side. I'll give you some slack on mine. Understood. All right. Oh, down here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and pull that nice. rope. Yeah. Ah! Just... Love this. It's good on my side. Anna? Me too. Well done. Oh. Well, what do we have down so here? We have some real treasure down here. Oh yes, that's our nose. I can't believe I heard him snore through the storm. And a bunch of things down here. Ooh. Books. Pretty rare. So here's a little fun fact. If you didn't know, um, you ever see pirates and them having eye patches? Did you know that those eye patches are not a sign of the pirate or the people of the sea being blind? But rather, those eye patches were used as a way to see in the dark. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, and you can look this up if you don't believe me. But down, like typically, like on the on the bottom of the ship, it would be super dark, right? Like it's light right here, but in actuality, it'd be dark as heck, especially at night. So, you know. People that had to go to the bottom of the deck to fetch food and drink and stuff like that, they wouldn't be able to see very well. Or it would take them a while for their eyes to adjust to the darkness. So what the eye patch was for is they would cover one eye for extended periods of time. And when they needed to go down to the, the bottom part of the ship, they would swap the patch over. So one eye would already be like pre-adjusted to the darkness. Kind of cool, right? She must have traveled a lot to get all these. And now she'll probably sell them illegally. Mmm. All right, let's set on up. Animals. Ooh. Maybe from 
Africa? Looks like Hugo played with them. Hope he didn't break anything. It was so good to sleep. Herbs and unguents. The one she gave to Hugo worked well. I hope he's feeling better. <clears throat> Such a nice bed. Our captain has good taste. Not wrong. That smell. Incense. That's amazing. Mm. The Mediterranean Sea. Lacuna should be somewhere here. This one? Or this one? Necklaces? Rings? Quite the elegant lady. Um. Uh, so you want to chit chat hey, with us? Sailor. Still at your post. Anything to report? An island, maybe? Not yet. But it's so beautiful. The colors keep changing, and I've seen huge fishes. Maybe a dolphin. That's great. I'd like to think we've seen everything. Yeah, what up, Sophia? What's up? It's a very interesting uh, anchor it or like wheel. To pilot this thing, it's worth all the other troubles. Come on, take it. Oh, uh, <laughs> go on. You won't crash into anything. Was there actually ships that had that kind of a steering wheel? It seems a little so, odd. It's amazing. It's the sea you feel. It's freedom. Thank you for taking us. Thank God, no. I'm usually not so kind. Oh. He's a bastard, I know. He has reasons to be deep scars. Not that it excuses. Amicia! Amicia! Oh, duty calls. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Thank you. Amicia, come! Look! There's something there! It's exactly like in my dreams. Thank you. Whatever's there, we'll find it together. Island explore. Oh, hey, ho. You know, it's not important if I die. What? What are you talking about? The Magister Vaudan told me I'm going to die. God, no, Hugo, I'm so sorry. It won't happen. Don't be sad. I'm happy to be here. This boat is the best, and <laughs> I like Sophia. And Anna, even if you don't like him. Sorry. Just wanted to say we'll be preparing to make land soon. I'll need your help. Just come see me when you're ready. Yes, sure. I'm happy to be here with you. All right. Well, things are about to get spicy.
people, come. My turn! I'll stay. I'll fix a few things here, and I'll join you later. Fine. We'll take a tour while it's still light, and find a place to sleep. Sounds good. By the way, this land is under the Count's law. Be nice. See? I see. How do we know this is the island? I'm I'm a little confused. What what did I miss? Let, let me know in the comments. Looks like we have a new king. Good King Hugo. That's right. During the brighter days, all children are kings. Just like the child of embers who watches over our island. Your presence is a blessing because you are the future. Just like him. For he'll deliver all of us from the darkness. Oh. Please, enjoy the festivities. Thank I don't you. know that. Goodbye. I'm going to be real. That sounds wow. hella sketch. That's a pretty good start, no? I wonder what the church would think of this. But they seem successful. Pray that we're successful. Well, come on, your majesty. Your majesty. Right this way. We're in my dream, Amicia. It's the most beautiful place I've seen. It's very beautiful, yes. But now we need to find whatever called you here. Welcome. The market is just up the street. Plenty for you to see. Let's go, quick. Yes. Hey, wait, wait. So I heard of this dream and, well, I'd like to help. But first, I must know what you're searching for. All right. So it's... Uh, it's a bit strange, but... Well... Go on, Hugo. Yes! In my dream, I woke up on the beach, and I was sick and scared. But a big bird came, and I followed him. I thought I was dying, but the bird showed me water that healed me. And there was a huge tree, too. And that's where I wake up each time. Good. So, bird, tree, and water. <laughs> Could be anywhere. But I guess it's a start. We can ask at the market. Come on. Are there any birds? <laughs> like, what the heck are we going to ask at the market? But yeah, let me know in the comment section. I'm confused how we it's knew so this amazing. was the island. So many colors. And Ooh. Amicia! Can we ask people about my dream? Uh, you shouldn't tell them that it's a dream. And don't ask too many people. You never know. Yeah. Hello, sir. Would you... Is there a magic pond here? With birds and trees? <sighs> <laughs> I'm not from here, you know. I just come for the market. Maybe you have a bird? No. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. <laughs> Listen, kid. All right? We... I almost died protecting you. Okay? Stop... Blowing our cover. As you are tall. What? Let's see the rest. Come and see my flowers. Perfect for the hmm. festivities. Hello. Hello there. Would you know of a beach where we could find special birds? <laughs> this is an island, so the birds are mostly seagulls. Not a bird much dreamed of, I'd wager. <laughs> They're bloody thieves, I tell you. That makes sense. It's not a seagull. Let's go. Hey. Thank you, sir. May your day be bright. Which makes me actually wonder, Yours like, too. I wonder if there's he rats on this island. <laughs> well, he knows about seagulls. Be patient, Hugo. Can't we pass yet? It's been so long. Be patient. We need the way clear for the moment. So it keeps on going. Just moving the village stretches square. all the way up. We'll have to see it all then. <laughs> Gorgeous. What's over there? Goats. Technically, that chicken's a bird, right? Is she nice? Of course she is. Um, oh. Go on. Don't be afraid. What 
What's she called? Lucinda. You're a nice goat. Lucinda. Lucinda. Mm. She loves you. Really? It's a good name. Oh, oh. That's I love you in goat. Nice, <laughs> dude. Right. She screamed at me. That's called bleating. <laughs> That's how they talk. She's a goat, you know. That's what they do. But it's not nice. You were scared. That's all. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Anytime. Goodbye. I must say, she startled me a bit too. That would actually be a good way to disorientate an enemy. <laughs> Can't wait to hear you bleat into battle. <laughs> Next time, maybe. Let's take a look around. Huh? Did that's you know odd. Don't have front teeth. Just like some of my. Oh wait, that's definitely a bug, right? Unless someone like painted over it. That's kind of weird. It's strange. Uh oh, right here. Hello, sir. Hello. What can I do for you? Need any spices? Maybe later. We've been told of a pond of water there are with more healing to properties. See, Amicia. Do you know where it is? Not a clue. But there are many ways to be blessed during the brighter days. Ah, oh, good to know. Is there a big bird on this island? <laughs> There's a few here and there. Maybe you'll see them. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. No pond. Maybe birds. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Should we be worried about the Count's army? Wait! Here? They look pretty quiet. Were we supposed to be able to walk by that? Don't think so. Good. Oh my god. I'd like to see a dragon man too. I mean, did I glitch through that? Because, like, it didn't look like I was supposed to walk through there. But I squeezed by. Uh... Wait. Did I glitch this? Hold on. I I'm pretty sure we just glitched this. Uh <laughs> I mean hopefully this doesn't break the game. All this wasn't in my dream, but I love this place. It's all so dreamlike. Yes. Islands can be nice little havens, but they're fragile ones. Oh, don't get gloomy. Chance. They're here. They must be about to start. Please stick to the rhythm, all right, Lucy? No improvisation. I sing for the child of embers, and he needs energy. But not that much. All right, focus, please. We're going soon. Hurry up! Last year was so good. Hurry up! Do you think they'll do better? I know they've been rehearsing for months. I hope they'll cross the main square once again. It's the best moment. Let's get closer. I... I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we glitched that. But it didn't look like doesn't look like it really a local deity, obviously. It's St. John's week on the continent. The summer solstice. Doesn't look like anything like really bad happened. Is he magical? He's a god. Pagan one. Peaceful one. Yes. Ooh. She dances. <laughs> I see that. You know how to dance this, Arno? Do I look like it? Well, you never know. I'd like to see you dance. <laughs> You're 30 years too late, lad. I'll imagine it then. Sorry, ma'am. The devotion has begun. The procession is coming. Let me see you quick. Blessed be the child of endless. Blessed be the mother. <laughs> just 
just in time. Wow. Say, would you like to bless them with flowers? I just throw some at them. That's it? Like this? Bless them yes, the bless them. Bless them with the flowers. Many, many years. You're a savage, Shorty. Let's follow the parade! Sure. Let's go wreak havoc somewhere else. I like blessing people. I really want to. I have a feeling this is gonna get really dark really quickly. Quick, quick! Calm down, we'll catch up with them. I feel like any time there's kind of like an uptick in good there's always a like something goes down you know where is she she should have been here already um sorry sire All right. Yes. You all know me. I'm not a man of words. Emily, your priestess, she will be here soon. She will open these brighter days with her beautiful words. The words of a mother. The mother of the child of embers. The child who protects what? his sacred land. It's him. From Come. the rats of disease and war. The rats. No, wait. Wait. What are you doing? Oh. It's because it's the Count Amicia. We had a deal. Call your rats. Wait, what? That was your deal? Oh, she my. He would murder the Count for you? You survive. That comes with a price. No. You don't take advantage of a child and call it a deal, Anna. We came all this way for him. You won't ruin that. Fuck it. I don't need you. No. Anna. Uh oh. I, knew I mean, you probably should kill the count regardless. Come on, just help him. He freaking saved your time. life. It's not like the I'll count is a good him. guy. Catch the girl. Oh my god. No, this is not our fight. Run. Amicia, it is your fight. The count tried to kill you. What are you talking about? Oh my god. What are you doing, Amicia? It's literally. How is this not your fight right now? This they're these are his men! Amicia! Amicia's like, listen, okay, we can't make this an eight-hour game. <laughs> I need to have inner conflict here. <laughs> Should have seen it coming. This is why you can't trust people, Hugo. What do you mean, lady? It never stays nice. It always turns bad. Always. Why? You did this to yourself. We're going back. It's too late. No. Things aren't always nice, but you can change them. How? The way we always do. We fight. We stop Arno before he does more damage. We save your dream. We need a way back. A discreet one, if possible. What if... Oh, no, he's dead. Or he killed the Count. We'll improvise. Remember. We could at Bro, I... We're in a stable. There has to be something. I mean, I get why she right. did what she's I doing, did. but... Bruh... Amicia, please. Locked. Oh. This door, the square should be right behind it. Locked, of course. Ah, right here. Up there. We could climb and pass above the door. Oh, it's too high. Let's find something to climb up. Yes. 
Well, can't you... Be very careful. Don't worry. I know. Hugo. Aha. Here. Let's get that cart in place. All right. Let's just grab this. I doubt there's any tools in here. This is probably like minor stuff. We'll check anyways. Come on. By the way, why did Arno attack the Count? He said that it's because of the Count that his shield is broken. Come on. Up. Climb up. Yes. I still don't understand. The Count... Good. Now, careful. I can say with like... Really high confidence. It was the Count's men who originally almost killed us before Arnold saved us. So I don't really understand her issue right now. Let's try to follow them. Yeah, I'm a little confused, like what she's thinking. your tools to distract wow okay all right well um that falcon is dangerous all right uh Supposed to be this easy? Oh, I, I messed up. I really like how they keep throwing like new things at us. I really, really like that. We did it. That bird was awful. Now where's that damn honor? Listen. Sword noises. Yes. Yes. Quick. They're here. The Count's alive. Can you stop him? Shut up. Stop. <sighs> Ah, uh, nice, dude. Nice, Amicia. Wait. 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 What? A girl and a No, wait. Stop. What the heck is happening? Don't get carried away. Uh, she helped. They're not a threat. Of course, my love. Wait, I am cow. so confused. I'll take you what it is to lose what you care for. You've always been a disgrace to the knighthood, Arno. And you've been a pain in my ass for too Are you long. All right. Lock him up. I'll handle that later. So where do you know this beast from? We shared a boat and had time to chat on the way, but I didn't know he was after you, sire. 
Now, if you're not bandits, who are you? Amicia. And this is Hugo, my brother. He's a bit afraid. Well, don't be. There was more fright than danger. These days are dedicated to life and peace. Would you agree to be our guests for dinner? Are you sure? I'm sure. Emily's right. You helped, you deserve it. Come with us. I am absolutely stunlocked. The only thing I can think of is like maybe the count soldiers came after us, but it's not like the count sent them after us. Hugo, right? Come. And maybe we so, think he can like help us. This is really your house. <laughs> this is home. But his it's soldiers have been incredible. trying to kill him. Come. Oh. Come inside. I can't make sense of it. I need you guys to help me make sense of this. Oh, it's big. It is. And it's only a small part of the palace. Oh, do you fancy some dates before we show you to your room? Dates? Ooh. What is it? A fruit, Hugo. Can I? Come on. Ooh. Sure, Your Grace. Please go easy, Hugo. Yes. I know this all looks pretty formal, but please. Here I'm not, Your Grace. I am the mother. Ooh. I am myself, so be yourself. Yes. During the brighter days, all the people of Lacuna are one, united around the child so? of Embers. I love it! Ha <laughs> ha! A bon vivant. Be careful. They're very rich. So where are you from? Guyenne. We fled the war and the plague. We came here hoping for a better life. And we heard of this island. You were right to come here. Let's keep going. You must be tired after this adventure. It's amazing. I know. Can't wait to see our room. Agnes, go get this a room for you, please. Certainly, Mother. She's her mummy. No, it's symbolic. And these are our gardens. My favorite part. Splendid. Absolutely Finally, gorgeous. They clean to the basin. Imagine living yes. in a house like oh, this. Nice. You're quite young for such a long trip. Where are your parents? Mummy is somewhere. But Dad was killed. By who? How? Uh, Hugo. Victor, don't be so military. <laughs> you know me. Come next to me, Hugo. Yes. You see those plants? Most of them are not from here. But we managed to make them grow anyway. And they look great. Thanks to a lot of love and care. We are just like them, you know. We drink water. <laughs> and we need a good soil, love and care. This land is open to you, if you wish to keep growing here. But of course, the big sister will decide. Right, Amicia? Thank you so much. Those were kind and true words. Let me show you something else. Victor? Of course, my Come, love. Hugo. The land here is strong. The child of embers breathes life into it. We created the brighter days to celebrate him. In the hope he'll come back to us, as it is foretold. To us, his mother and father. And to the people. We pray mm. to him not as a god, but as our long sleeping child. We okay. love and revere him to revive his flame. I get it. You guys are revering this dude. Child of the flame. Amicia, one stone. It's the bird. Oh. Wait, would you pray with me? Oh, child of the flame is the falcon. Sure. Wait, Sugar? maybe this is about bird. us. Okay, I thought we were losing our mind, but maybe there actually was truth behind this. Rise. A sun, a sun, so bright. So bright. So bright. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shall we go? Uh, sorry, Mother. Could we take some time to pray for our father? Hugo? Yes, of course. I understand. I'll wait for you. Come when it is done. Dear father, Hugo, is it really your bird? Take a good look at it. Oh, yes, I feel it. It has the same beak, and I just know it. Good, very good. Let's go back to them. And no word about that to anybody here, right? It's our secret. I know. Oh. 
Is everything ready for tomorrow? Yes. The new robes look wonderful. It will be perfect. Excuse me. Oh. Shall we go? Sure. Oh boy. I must say, we appreciate that you paid homage to the child so willingly. Every child of course. bears the future of the world. <laughs> One oh child God. can change everything. That is very true. This is definitely yes. not going to go sideways, right? Go on. Certainly not. This is too much. Nonsense. You're our guests. I don't There's know. I feel like they're going to lock the door, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, we'll need to get you some new clothes. It looks like you had a long journey. Are you going to kill Arno? And Sugar. he will be judged. All those who do bad things are. And he did a lot. Oh. And that's you fair. You have the chance to testify if you wish to do so. Wait, what? Okay, but that's actually kind of nice of him. We'll leave you to rest. Tomorrow, feel free to enjoy Lacuna. Brighter days are the best time for it. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Thank you. <laughs> My lady. Wait, they're so nice. I I feel like they remind me of beds are great. Try jumping on them. Yes. <laughs> I I feel like she's evil as hell and we don't know yet. And this is some like, you know those movies where like there's the really nice cannibals and they treat you so well and they feed you and make you all plump and then before you know it they're eating you. That's what I think. What do you think? Should we do you trust them? Yes or no? Let me know. Do you trust the count and his wife? Let me know in the comment section. These clothes feel so nice. Yes. Hey, come here, sleepyhead. Come on, it's just the sun. Look. It's worth it. Whoa! It's... Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes. Exactly like my dream. Quickly. Let's eat something and get going. Come on. Woohoo! It's beautiful! Can we go play? Hey, we're here to know why you dreamt about this place, right? Yes, let's go! All right, ladies and gentlemen. A very interesting level we just had. Mostly a lot of story, not too much gameplay. But a very interesting twist in the storyline thus far. I feel like we're probably hit like what the midway point of the story um so much has happened i don't and i i know this is my third time saying it but i really do not understand what amicia is thinking here why did she decide to throw the homie g under the bus why i i want you guys to try to explain it to me if you think you know, if you're on your mobile phone, come on, just pull out the phone. If you're on the computer watching, come on, let me know in the comment section because the only thing I can think of is at the end of the day, we don't want to hurt anyone unless we have to and we're defending ourselves. And maybe Amicia just kind of felt like her brother's abilities were being abused and it may have threatened him if he exposed his powers to all these people by taking out the count using the rats. That's probably the best explanation I can come up with because at face value, it seemed slightly random that we're just like, screw this guy that saved our life from and prevented both me and my brother from almost dying. Not only screw him, but they actively stopped him and could have gotten him killed. It's not like she would have known 
that they would have brought him to trial. As far as she should have been concerned with is the moment she pulled the rope and that wooden, you know, pole landed on his head that that man was dead. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys have been enjoying this as much as I have been. Um, we'll be back with another video real soon. Until next time, stay safe, Lions. Take care.